All right there, Mark here from 6 Plus going over a review and my feedback on this mechanical turntable. Now, the long story short, this mechanical turntable, I've seen some amazing stuff where people had shown their miniatures, their dioramas, their terrain bits that they'd worked on, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, many other places, where it was turning in a light box. I was like, let's see what a bargain decent one can do so i grabbed this one off amazon i'll put the link in the description below and i've been playing around with it for over a week now so the actual one is mac basel mac basel 360 degree is a black 5.4 inch turntable so i've got it beside me let's open it up and oh let's grab it and show you what i've came to terms with it um the only thing is there are instructions here, but it wasn't wasn't the it wasn't the clearest. But as soon as you played with it for like five minutes, you completely understood what was going on. But basically, you got your power, you got a way of turning it to go clockwise or anti-clockwise, speed regulator, and then you can make it like turn and then turn back. Simple as that. And you can power it by batteries or via USB. So. Let's grab the turntable. So the turntable would arrive like this. And yeah, I I will say the immediate con, okay? The immediate con is it does feel cheap. It does feel cheap. But that's the only con straight off the bat when I took it out of the box. Now, I would love to show that footage. However, my mic wasn't working on that recording, which is la frustrating, <laughs> very frustration, but it is what it is. So it's a nice size, as you can see here, here's the size of my hand, regular, you know, male size hand, absolutely fine. I'm not gonna moan at that. That is definitely what I think it should be size wise. So. As I said, it can be powered by battery. So you can put three uh, AA, is it AA or AAAs? Three AAA batteries in there. Yep, three AAA batteries, or you can put a uh, one of those long lithium batteries that aren't as common as people may think. So nine times out of 10, it'll be the AAA battery. Vast majority of people out there would have some form of power bank to play around with. So that's what I am going to be using today and I have been using. In the box as well you do get yourself a cable micro USB connection. So it's not a type C it's just a micro USB but it does the job. So all I do plug it in there you go. It's a nice solid fit. Doesn't feel loose or anything like that. And then I will plug this into my power pack. You could plug it into your PC or anything like that. And then all you want to do is turn it on. And then you can change it left to right. You can then tell it with the ASA setting to go back and forth. But you press it a few more times and it will then go further around, which is quite cool. Uh, you go back to the SR method. You increase its speed. So very, very slow. Medium speed. Very fast. But then left and right overrides it. So it'll just keep turning left and right. Variable speed nice and easy and then if you want to turn it off hold on the wrong button do apologize you hold down the a s a button simple as that you know nice and straightforward so got a few models just to show now there is another quality issue with this turntable but it's absolutely fine. If you're going to use it for uh, reels, that it just turns the table and you have voice over it, you're not going to worry. There's a slight scrapey noise to it. 
Now I can't really open this up because I think the screws are underneath these um, feet here. But there's no point in me opening it up because I'm not really going to do much to it. It costs next to nothing. Now if I grab my GoTrek here. Nice big plastic model. You know, he's a decent 40mm base on him. Let's turn him on. Turns nicely. And if we increase the speed of it a bit faster, fastest, there you go. Does the job, doesn't it? Now, turning a plastic or a resin model, there's not a lot of weight to it. So, in my mind, I was like, let's put some actual weight on this. One pewter model. Two pewter models. Three pewter models. Let's see how this then copes now. So it right down. Now, you may notice it's a little bit juddery on the very slowest motion. I think it's not perfectly smooth in the ball bearing. But other than that, I think this will do absolutely fine. That's a lot of, you know, that's a fair chunk of weight on this model. Now, don't get me wrong, some of you may have seen, I painted up my Plague Giant. I have put this on here and it turntabled absolutely fine. I may even put it in the bottom corner to show it. Turn fine, but I wouldn't really recommend this for anything extravagant. This is normally for jewelry or watches or anything like that in display cabinets in shops. To my knowledge, this is what it's primarily for. But I'm really, really happy with how this has came out. So at the end of the video, I am going to be putting uh, some uh, reels of it, just turning some models around so you can actually see like the finished effect of it. But hope this has helped. I will be putting a link in the description down below to the turntable and the power pack if you do want to do the combi. But as always, if this has helped you, if you've liked it, please like, comment down below if you had any um, interaction with these kind of things. Social media links are down below. You're more than welcome to join in. But as always, thank you so very, very much for um, watching through to the end. Oh, subscribe and hit that bell so you know of more stuff coming out. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.